I had heard of Twitter. I was not familiar with it, but I, I knew that it was out there. Um, I knew that it was a way that you could use both computer website and text messaging to post comments. I started to think about how I might be able to incorporate this into the actual classroom setting in my big group of 90 students um, as a way to pull more students into a class discussion that I ordinarily wouldn't be able to do in 50 minutes with that many people. It's been really exciting because usually in, in classes like this you'll have three people that talk about the discussion material and so to actually have 30 or 40 people at a time talking about it is really interesting and then I can go back through the weekend and send them direct messages and ask them to probe kind of further and really think about the material that they've been reading. Um, I'm really impressed with all of your posts today. You guys did a great job. I do want to bring us back and talk about what some of the uh, most useful things are that you either saw go up here or things that you talked about in discussion, the posts or what you read. Kids are able to get outside of their comfort zones. Um, they, they're not having to worry about speaking in front of, you know, 200 people, 100 people, however many people are in the class. So I think it really helps. It actually gets the students incorporated into the class and makes them like more enthralled, I guess, to get into what's going on and discuss things more. People need to learn to get their opinion out somehow. And a class of, what, 90 people trying to pipe up and be heard over everyone else can be a little intimidating, but here all you have to do is type it out, hit enter, or send it from your phone, and your opinion's up there for everyone to read. How are you guys doing? We're okay. We're gradually losing faith in humanity. You're gradually losing faith in humanity? <laughs> yeah. All right, my work here is done. Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, we're talking about... Uh, we're putting stuff that college students are paying for to learn out on the internet, and that college students are researching out on the internet for other people to find. And I'm really big on Wikipedia and the ability for you to find whatever you need to know on the internet. And for us to put more history knowledge out there through intelligent discussion is pretty cool. The significant terms that we've talked about um, in our discussions, we'll tweet that. And so you can go back on it and it's a pretty good study aid to look at what was, what was most important with what we talked about that week. Um, what I have seen is that you know, nearly everyone participates in some way, either in class on their computers or cell phones, or they do their handwritten comments and give them to, to the TA and, and she posts them after class is over. I don't have a laptop with me, so I'm using my phone. You know, if you've got 50 minutes, you don't have time to call on every single student. So this allows, you know, for a lot of information to get sent in quickly. And I think it's actually probably better this way because I know there's some kids where they'd want to have something to say, but they're a little bit shy or standoffish, so they don't always give it. So this gives a better opportunity for people to still express their views on what's going on and what's being discussed. But 140 characters does limit um, the, the types of comments that they're able to make and the types of evidence and argument that they're able to make to back up their opinions. And um, there are some issues that we're discussing in class that, that do require a more in-depth approach to explaining one's position. But on the other hand, um, oftentimes there's a lot of miscellaneous information that students think they need to throw in that kind of muddle up the idea that they're trying to portray. So having to keep them limited to 140 characters does require students to get it the absolute kind of central point. I think it really forces them to focus. I was, uh, I was traveling one week, and so the TA led the, the Twitter discussion in class. But while away in Santa Fe, New Mexico, um, I was able to log on to Twitter during our class period, during our class time, and follow the class discussion from another state. And um, as much as I could, I contributed as many comments as I could to what I saw, the comments being posted um, on the Twitter board that week. Uh, my understanding is that students in class thought that was actually kind of cool. They, they, were, they thought that was, that was pretty exciting, that even though I wasn't here, that I was still kind of participating in the class and giving them feedback on the types of things that they were saying. Um, it, was, it was really useful for me, too, to kind of see how this works from afar. This is, this is a very different format um, than your typical history discussion or history class uh, format. And I had no idea how it was going to work. Um, I think I remember saying, it's going to be messy. And I'm just going to have to come to grips with the fact that it's going to be messy. But messy doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be bad. Oh,